I'm going to use this wee Hilka plane uh, to create a wooden jack plane. So I'm going to salvage all the parts that I need for it. And all I actually need is this 5cm thick blade. This old bed post is going to be used to make the plane. So all I'm doing here is just cutting it down to its dimensions or its length using the miter saw. Now please tell me if you find um, this backing track a bit odd. I'm not sure if I entirely like it, but I just wanted to put it on to spruce up the atmosphere. So you just saw me uh, cutting it down its centre on the bandsaw and then cleaning it up. And now I am creating an angled half lap joint. And then I can come and chisel out all of this waste from the angled half up joint. So here are the two pieces that I've just cut. And essentially these are going to glue together like this to create an angled mortise, as you can see there. Um, and this is going to allow the plain blade just to slip into there like that. With the plain blade slipping in and out nicely, we need to glue up the whole plane. So I applied lots of Gorilla wood glue and then applied some clamps. This does need to be a reasonably strong joint. And as you can see, there is the angled mortise. I need to flatten the sole, so I'm gonna start with a number four hand plane. And then I glued some 80 grit sandpaper to a piece of MDF and that's just going to give me the final smooth and flat surface. I'm now going to trace the contours of the plane onto the big block of wood and then take it over to the bandsaw to get that cut out. Here is the shape that I went for. I'm now going to use a half round cabinet file to clean up the bandsaw cuts because they were pretty rough. I'm now going to use a 6mm drill bit to drill the whole way through the mortise of the plane. And I can now use a junior hacksaw with a very blunt blade to cut down a piece of 6mm brass rod. And I'm going to use some super glue to glue in this rod into the plane. And from this shot you can hopefully see how the brass rod is going to work. This is the wedge that is going to hold in place the plane blade and I'm just cleaning it up with a file. And here is the plane blade on one of its, no, not the plane blade, the plane on one of its very first tests. Right, so I think I'm just going to leave uh, this project here for now. I think we'll come back next week and we'll finish off uh, doing the plane, but it's really great, um, despite it being unfinished, that it still cuts wood, which I suppose is its main essential purpose. So thank you so much for watching, um, and I'll see you next week where we'll hopefully finish off this plane and put on a few little details that I want to put on, um, but can't fit in one video. Okay, I'll see you then.